Well, folks, we are now just days away from a government shutdown with Republicans in the House of Representatives no closer to a deal on the funding bill than they were a week ago or a week before that. So it does look at this moment like the government will shut down at the end of September 30th. And the person who is cheering this on more than anyone else happens to be Donald Trump himself, because as Trump says, Republicans, you should go ahead and shut down the government because Biden's going to get blamed for it anyway. So you guys go ahead and burn down the house and we'll just pretend like it was president Biden who lit the match, right? Here's what Donald Trump put on true social. The Republicans lost big on debt ceiling, got nothing, and now are worried that they will be blamed for the budget shutdown. Wrong. Whoever is president will be blamed. In this case, crooked as hell, Joe Biden. Our country is being system uh, systematically destroyed by the radical left Marxist fascists and thugs, the Democrats. Close the border, stop the weaponization of justice and end election interference. We must have honest elections. It's time for Republicans. It's time Republicans learned how to fight. So just do it anyway. If you don't get everything you want, like with my little idiotic wish list there of things that don't even exist. And the plus side, Trump says, Biden's going to take the blame for it anyway. So screw it. Nothing matters. Let's make millions and millions of people suffer just because we know we won't be the ones to get blamed for it. Uh, it's a bold strategy, not going to lie. And here's the sick part to a degree. Trump is right. The guy in charge, the person in charge, whoever it is, whoever is president of the United States at the time, even though they have no control over the government shutdown at all, like none of this is Biden's fault. None of it. There will be a sizable percentage of American citizens who blame him for it. Nevertheless, even though it is verifiably 100% all on the Republican party, like there isn't even a single percentage of this, not even a fraction of a percent that is the democratic party's fault. None. This is a 100% Republican in Congress problem. And you're still probably going to have half the country blame president Biden for it because the average American doesn't necessarily pay attention to these kinds of things as they happen. And let's be perfectly honest. The more people you lump together, the stupider they all collectively get. That's the American public, you know, individually, we are very smart. We are very capable. We figure things out. But as soon as you start putting everybody together to kind of feed off each other's energy of, yeah, wait a minute. Yeah. This is Biden's fault. Yeah. It's Biden's fault. You're right. Suddenly we become, you know, brain dead morons. So you will have, again, I, I, I think 30 to 50% of the country that is going to blame Biden for this, no matter the facts of the case. So again, to a degree, Trump is right. You guys can shut down the government and they're just going to blame the Democrats. And part of it, I'll, I'll be honest, part of it rests with the Democrats. Y'all could have and should have already been out there running ads on YouTube, running ads in, in traditional media, talking about how Republicans are marching us towards this government shutdown, but you're not doing it. You have the money to do it. Why aren't you doing it? I don't have an answer for that. Only the DNC can answer that but y'all have the opportunity to capitalize here. And if you do not do it by the time this is all over, Trump will have his Republican party spinning it as if president Biden pushed us into the shutdown. And again, you're going to have millions, possibly a hundred million or more Americans who believe that this is all Biden's fault. And that is exactly what Trump is hoping happens here. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.